I see uh, so many familiar faces here. I just want to start with saying, hey, everybody, but it's a uh, convocation, so I, I said I'd start with by uh, saying colleagues, families, friends, and distinguished guests. Today, we, the graduating class of 2012, are experiencing the moment we've all been working toward, the right to walk across the graduation stage and take the final steps in what has been a profoundly transformative journey at Mount Royal University. For many of us, it was the thought of this ceremony that kept us going through long nights and self-doubts, both professional and personal. The thought of completing our educational goals and taking control of our futures fueled the gumption that has ultimately brought us together today, a day in which we recognize not only our accomplishments, but also those individuals who played an important role in helping us to achieve a significant milestone. Today, we convene as a group for one last time before beginning the new journeys that await us all. Even though Mount Royal University will always remain a significant part of who we are, we can't help but recognize the fact that our relationships with it and with many of the people that we came to know here will change. But change is ultimately the reason we came to Mount Royal. We made a decision to challenge ourselves, develop our skills and knowledge, evolve our worldviews, and change our future prospects. We made a decision to pursue a happier, more meaningful life by becoming graduates of Mount Royal University. As we prepare to embark on the next leg of our journeys, I, like Dr. Daugherty, believe it's important to take a moment to pause and reflect on the people we were, the challenges we've encountered, and the new pursuits we will tackle in the future. I would ask that my fellow graduates take a moment right now to reflect upon the thoughts and feelings they had when they first chose to pursue a Mount Royal education. Consider the circumstances that brought you here and the feelings you had before your very first classes. What were your lives like at that point? You may have been working a different job back then or being involved in a different relationship. You may have had different groups of friends, some of whom were able to stick it out with you as you lived university life and some who were not. What made you happy? What were your concerns? Why did you choose this post-secondary life? Family and friends, I ask you to please take a moment to consider my fellow classmates and the people we were before beginning this nearly concluded journey. As the people who care for us the most, you would have had impressions of us and concerns for us that we weren't even aware of. Crystallize that image and those feelings in your minds. Reawaken your, your memories of our lives before university for a few moments. Now, my fellow graduates, I ask you to think of the journey itself, the beginning hesitations, the unfamiliar territories. Reflect upon the highs, the lows, the everyday routines that became a part of your own unique Mount Royal experiences, from the stress of managing multiple deadlines to the elation of a perfect presentation our time as Mount Royal students was a mix of fear and exhilaration, growth and encouragement. We take these moments for granted now, but upon reflection, we realize they were student rites of passage that made us who we are today. For many of us, university was a torrent of fast-paced ideas, commitments, deadlines, interactions, and discovery. It was during this time that we began our transformation to the graduates you have just seen claim personal victory. It was during this time that we grew, we learned, we adapted, whether we wanted to or not, how to find solutions to obstacles and challenges. While at Mount Royal, we didn't just learn about course material. MRU helped us to uncover and develop our own senses of self. It helped us to understand how to navigate opportunity and adversity. We discovered strengths, weaknesses, convictions, and biases that we never knew existed within us. We were so busy learning and consuming, engaging with course materials and deadlines, the day-to-day -day of university life, that we may not have realized that we were also receiving an invaluable education about ourselves and our place in the world at the same time. In short, many of us knew that university life was about university, but are only now just beginning to reflect upon the life implications of the overall experience and education. And what an education it has been. There is not a doubt in my mind that each of my fellow graduates can recall plenty of the quality face-to-face -face encounters that Mount Royal fosters. None of us is a stranger to the familiar hallway conversations with instructors that abound at Mount Royal, ranging from academic support to a simple, how are you doing? 
It has been my experience at Mount Royal University that every member of its faculty and staff is here because of a desire to strengthen the MRU community through the support of student success. These talented people that populate the offices, classrooms and service areas across campus are exceptional at what they do because they love what they do. I cannot think of a more inspiring place to learn and grow than Mount Royal, a place where even in the most challenging and stressful of times, a student can always be assured of finding incomparable academic and personal support. On behalf of my fellow graduates, thank you Mount Royal, for creating the inspiring community we have enjoyed during our time here and for maintaining it so that future students can enjoy the same quality of exceptional education and support that we have enjoyed. Just as importantly, an immense debt of gratitude also needs to be expressed to those family members and friends who were with us for this journey or who patiently experienced it on the periphery while we were busy expanding our horizons and preparing for the future. You saw us through some of the best and worst times we've encountered in recent memory. Not just while at Mount Royal, but also through all of those types of experiences that can't help but arise in any person's life. Our education, growth, and life lessons were not experienced in isolation exclusive to academia. Some of us became engaged or married. Some had children. Life dealt all of us its blissful moments of happiness, as well as its unavoidable measures of sickness or hardship, all while we as students attempted to meet our deadlines and get one step closer to crossing this stage today. Through all of that, the joys and frustrations, the laughter and the tears, those who have given us their love and encouragement, and sometimes even their money and their groceries, are an integral component to the accomplishments that we are celebrating today. To those of you who are here with us today, and to those loved ones that are not, as we recognize our accomplishments and celebrate the end of a very long journey, please know that we would not be here at all if it weren't for your guidance, your love, and your overwhelming support. Thank you. Today's convocation is a moment to which all of us, students, family, friends, faculty and staff, have been contributing in one way or another. All of our combined efforts have resulted in this unique constellation of people gathered here at this particular time. Graduates, I said earlier that we came to Mount Royal to change. Reflect one last time upon that change and consider what the old you would think about this version of yourself in the blue graduation robe today. The old version of myself is pretty amazed to discover that, like you, I turned a dream into a reality. And he's still in disbelief that today, our convocation has finally arrived. However, this moment, like any other, is fleeting. So soak it up. Capture this memory, because it too will change momentarily. Socrates said that the unexamined life is not worth living. We've taken a few moments to examine the roles that we and our support networks have played in this rewarding journey. We've considered the people we were and how we've all changed while on our path to convening together at this precise moment in time. We should take pride in the abandonment of our past fears and uncertainties. We've earned it. We should embrace the new skills, knowledge and possibilities that were not available to us before choosing Mount Royal. Also, and perhaps more importantly, we should try to look for any elements from our past that we may wish to reclaim. For myself, I look to the person I am, and I'm proud to have discovered a confidence I never knew I had. Looking to the person I was before Mount Royal, I find that I want to reclaim my old sense of silliness and spontaneity. For each of you, this reflection may be different, but I ask you to occasionally contrast your past with your present as you take control of your future. In this way, you can reap and reclaim the ben benefits of all your life experiences and apply them to not only your own affairs, but even more importantly, to your meaningful interactions with others. This chapter of our lives is about to end in moments, another change in the direction of our lives. But with each ending comes a curious new beginning. New adventures and challenges are in store for all of us. Graduates, I ask you to recognize today that each of us has just proven that we have the power to take control of our own lives. We have the strength, the resolve, and we have the supports necessary to become something better than what we once were. With that in mind, I urge you to remember the efforts of others that they have made in that journey and to occasionally take stock of opportunities that may exist for you to help others in a similar manner in the future. We can take control of our own lives 
we can also play an undeniably vital role in the lives of others as they pursue their own goals and their own rewards. Life is what you make it. We are a living example of that today. On behalf of the graduating class of 2012, I would like to thank every person in attendance here today and all of those others who played a role in our success for everything that they have done in helping us to achieve our goals. You have led by an inspiring example that will not soon be forgotten, as long as we remember to occasionally reflect during times of growth and change. Thank you very much.